Hello, out there, Cyber Friends. This is the Midi Man again, coming at you from Walker's Music with yet another word for the day. I want to say that uh, I apologize for not getting one out on yesterday. Nevertheless, got caught up in some musical things and uh, never an excuse, but just got caught up in some uh, musical things and uh, I just decided not to do one. But nevertheless, I am back today, and um, I want to talk about some things here, not to judge anybody, because we all get caught up in a certain things, but I want to talk about it, this something called, you're just reaping what you sow, and that's good or bad. People think it's only relegated to the bad thing, but it also means good, too, and from being on the net, internet, and I've seen some things. I've been on the internet now for about the last, I guess, 12 years. And I've seen the, the internet evolve from, wow, to like minute to great. And a lot of people have come and gone. People cross your paths. And like I tell people, everybody that come in your paths is not there to stay. People come in and out of your life. There Some come there for a season. And then after that season is complete and they'll accomplish whatever that, that accomplishment should be, then they'll go. Some people are not meant to be staying in your life. They're only there for a season. <clears throat> Nevertheless, we were talking about internet. I'm going to talk about something called, I feel, I'm calling it internet et etiquette. I look at things like if a person sends me, like, if we are in an instant message, it's like MSN Live, Yahoo, you got them in up, Skype, whatever. And a person send me a message, and I'm offline. Well, the way these things work is that when the person comes online, you get the message. It, 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 you, you will get the offline message, so you'll know that one of your contacts have tried to contact you or let you know something, whatever. Well, the courtesy thing that I do, I always try, at that very moment I get the message, try to answer back and reply. Because if you don't, nine times out of ten, sometimes you will forget. You will forget to do it. So I try not to let it go no more than when it pops up to immediately answer, reply back. Then you got some people that will not reply and you know they give you a whole bunch of reasons why they didn't do it and everything and I mean it might be legitimate because you never know. But I'm just saying the scripture said we read what we sow. Now <clears throat> you got some people that when they need you to do something they want you to do it. I, I, I get on people that I'm connected to with about this all the time. When you want someone to do something for you, you want them to do it then. You want them to do it immediately. You don't want them to give you no excuse about wait till they, I do this way. No. You want them to do it then. And whatever that is that you got going, and you want you want people to you want people to kind of endorse it or whatnot, you're looking for them to do that at that particular time. What people Jesus said. Just as you would have people to do unto you, then this is the same thing that you must do. You see, most people they want you to they want you to be all fired up about what something that they got the interest in, and they want you to have they want you to spend all night, and they'll stay there with you all night as long as you're doing what they are interested in. But when it comes to you, they don't have time. They, they, they shy away. Stop instant messaging. In other words, they'll stop even typing to you. Why? Because now you don't ask them to do something that they don't really have an interest in. So, you know, forget it. I want to read something to you. If we are the person to fit this category, let me read this to you. In the book of Galatians, sixth chapter, starting at the seventh verse be not deceived God is not mild for whatsoever man soweth that shall he also reap 
For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. <clears throat> and let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Now, people, that's just one aspect. But you can apply that to just about anything in life. Whatever it is that you sow, you will reap. So, therefore, when you take time out for others to help them through an ordeal, Somebody's going to take time out to help you when you're going through your ordeal. Because we reap, excuse me, what we sow, we reap it. Good and bad. If you reap, if you sow good, you're going to reap good. If you sow bad, you're going to reap bad. So this, this, is, this is what I call, I'm calling this internet etiquette. People, just as you want others to do to you. Then you must do the same thing. We all get tired because we are human, and we all have different things that comes up. We are not in control of life situation. We are, we are not in control of it to a degree. Only thing we must do is succumb to it and adjust and make a, and adapt. We must make adaptations. But what I'm saying is, do unto others. Like Jesus said, as you will want them to do unto you. See now, if you ain't never got any time to do to help anybody, why should you want somebody to help you? So now if you don't want it, you don't have to do it. But if you want it, then you must be the first one to do it. Let us, sometimes there are things that beyond our scope, beyond our reach, some of them may Sometimes, you know, some of us is uh, technically challenged about a certain thing. <clears throat> Everybody's not up on the date on technology. And so you can expect them to shy away from certain things. We're not talking about that, but we're talking about the genuine, genuine heart. If your heart is genuine, you want to help people. Even if you can't, you at least will do whatever that is you can do. That's just the way I look at it. So just as I want you to do to me, that's what I must do also for you or to anybody. So we just need to take this in and this is in um in stride, people. We must take it in stride. Let's just let's just let's try to do better. In other words, they said the person knows to do better and don't. To him it's sin. So, you know, let us try to do better. And, and, and get along. And there, there is so much can be done. Technology has made it possible for you to interact with people all over the world. And we could really take to take advantage of this technology and may come up with something very, very great. Who knows? But until we stop being selfish and self-centered, we're never going to get anything done. So people take it from the middle, man. Let's stop the self-centeredness. And let's learn to help each other any way we can. In other words, if you might not can do great things, but do that what you can do. And if you do that, all is well. This is the Midi Man saying peace and goodbye.